Hey guys, I'm back. In the last part, we unlocked you on Shadows ending number one. And now, we're going to go and get the fourth ending. And getting the fourth ending, we've been there already, but I'm going to go over it again. So, to get you on Shadows ending number four, we have to have an average KO count of more than 200, an average point total amount of more than 4,000, an average time played amount of less than 20 minutes, and then the amount of stages, six or more, and then the objective, all you really have to do is play the battle of Guan Du and defeat Guan Yu. That's it. So, anyway, uh, let's get to it. And before I do that, I'm going to change the difficulty to normal. That way I can actually defeat all these stages in less than 20 minutes. So, anyway. So, it doesn't really matter who I play as. So, I'm going to start this Moose mode off by playing as Zhang He, and I'll show off his fourth model. So, here we go. Intolerable! This madman has deceived the people into self-ruin! A beautiful flower must one day shed its petals. Much like the Han. Be quiet! Do not even think such things! Let us go then, my lord. Restoring peace and tranquility is the duty of a loyal Han retainer. Yes. The proud Yuan family blood also flows through my veins. To battle! Henceforth, we do not stop until we crush the Yellow Turban Rebellion! Alright, since we know pretty much all the narration, I'm going to skip that and go right into the Yellow Turban Mass and go from there. Alright, so the equipment, the weapon, we have a maxed out Peacock Talon. The items, I'll leave it as is. The bodyguards, I'll go with ROTK this time. And we will stick with the pike. The objectives. We have to defeat Zhang Liang or have him retreat, and we can't allow either myself or Wang Fu Song to fall with the time running out. The unit info for the Han forces: you have Wang Fu Song, Cao Cao, Zhao Yuan, Zhen Qi, and Zhang He, which is me. Sun Jian, Da Qiao, Sun Shang Xiang, Liu Bei, Zhao Yun, and Ma Chao. For the yellow turbans, we have Zhang Liang and Han Xian, Zhang Wanchong, Wan Hai. Gao Shang, Deng Mao, Wang Xiao, and Liu Pi. Also her Yi and Yan Zhang, but that's later. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's do it. And the same concept. She's in the KOs, she's in the points, and be fucking quick. So anyway. Insufferable rogue. My goal is to try to get as much KOs as I can, as well as trying to complete the stage very quickly. I mean, I already said that already, but still, we'll go for Dumb Mouth first and go from there. There's Wong Xiao.
Let's not fall behind. The enemies at the west gate have been annihilated. Attack him at once. All right, now we'll go down and defeat Liu Bei. Well, not defeat Liu Bei. Uh, wow. Uh, defend Liu Bei. That's probably later. But anyway, um, we'll defeat Gao Shang now. And he's down. Now yeah, we'll defeat the troops on the right. Well done. Now head straight for the enemy commander. Heavens, save the children of the yellow turban. Strike down those that do us harm. And obviously her Yi will be here, so well, once uh, Wong Fu Song starts to move. It will be a tad more convenient if you do play as Yi Wan Shao here, for the fact that, or at a character if you have any. Um, because uh, his morale will be very high at that point. Because as you can see... Never mind. I could have sworn South South's morale would be high by now, but uh, but still, Wong Fu Song's morale is decently high, so I could actually uh, keep him alive for a bit, hopefully, or not. Never mind. You know what? I'll just go through here, defeat Harry Yi, then go to the right and defeat the two officers over there, uh, Liu P and. Um, Damn, what was the other one again? I think it was... Yeah, one high. down. I'll defeat the other two for now, then once Wong Fu Song comes out of the castle over here, Yan Zhang will appear. So I'll defeat him after that, and then uh, go from there. I just need to make sure I have a KO count of 200 uh, before I move on. Really wasn't trying to defeat him, but he just got in the way. But anyway, all right. There's a the second ambush. I'll deal with that in a little bit. I'm surprised I didn't have an ally morale boost in a long time. You know, every now and then you get. 50 KOs or every 50 KOs, but once in a blue moon or once in a while, your allies' morale actually will increase, like everybody's, and that hasn't happened. Ooh. There we go. I 
I just gotta be careful though, because once I actually get near Zhang Liang, he will uh, entice those water geysers, and uh, getting hit by those are never a fun time. But still, have to get around that and uh, defeat Zhang Liang. There you go. Yan Zhang is down. It'll be nice to get 300 KOs. I'm gonna go for it though. I feel like 300 is reasonable. 350 will be a challenge. Uh, so I'm gonna. I really want to try to aim for 350. I need to do that without forcing the stage to end. Because now, if I defeat Han Xian, I think, I mean, I've said this numerous times, but I'll say it again. Uh, oh, here we go. I was going to say, um, in this game, unlike Dynasty Warriors 3 that I've done a Let's Perfect on, pretty much most of the majority of the first and second act, well, obviously, in Dynasty Warriors 3, it, the Musa mode was pretty much individually based. But anyway, um, the commander could actually retreat from battle, and um, you have to fulfill a certain requirement for that to happen. And uh, for this stage, you have to make sure that Zhang Liang is the only officer or general alive. So the only other one that's left is, uh, where the hell? So as I was saying, because I got fucking lost there for a sec, um, The fact that Zhang Liang, well, once I defeat Han Xian, if I do defeat him anyway, uh, the only one that's left is Zhang Liang. Then he'll start to move, and uh, that's what I was looking for. I don't know why I ended up in that area. But anyway, there's the dim sum. I'll grab the Musu wine on the other side. But, uh, and for the fact that this Musu mode and this game has this type of setup, Doing certain things in previous or future stages can affect a later stage. For example, here, if we play the Yellow Term of Menace, defeat Zhang Liang, he won't appear in the Yellow Term Rebellion. If you skip this stage, or, and I know I said this numerous times, so please mind this if you heard it already for like the umpteenth time. Um, so, if you uh, skip this stage or allow Zhang Liang to retreat, he will be in the Yellow Term Rebellion. So it's up to you whether or not you want that to happen. And the same rule applies for Zhang Bao in the Yellow Term Fortress. Hopefully when I'm done with all these endings, I don't have to worry about saying the same bullshit over and over again. <laughs> And that's a win. Alright, so one down, five more to go. And uh, two more for this act. So we completed the stage in nine minutes and 54 seconds, not bad. I doubt I got anything good with the items. Our KO count is 313. Uh, well, the opponent count is 9. We could have made it 10 if you know how to time it right. But um, I wasn't going to do that. And we should have over 4,000 points. 
barely. So, awesome. And that's enough of rank 5, and we might just make rank 4, because it wasn't that much off. Yep, 10 points, anyway. So, the weapon experience doesn't matter, the bodyguards, points doesn't matter. We will save, and I will overwrite this one. And, let's continue. And now... The Yellow German Fortress. And uh, I'm gonna swap out characters. I will play as you want Shao. And I show off all the models, I believe. But just to play it safe, I know I showed off the third one recently. So I will show off the fourth one again. So here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon. We have a maxed out Sword of Honor. Items I'm swapping out that way, Musu. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about using it at the Battle of Hulao Gate. Um, let's just go with the Peacock Urn. I don't think I'm going to really need it, but still, the bodyguards are at 8. The objectives we have to defeat Zhang Bao or have him retreat. I personally prefer defeating him, and we can't allow either myself or Zhu Jun to fall or the time running out. The unit info. For the Han forces, you have Shu Jun and Yuan Shao, which is me. Cao Cao, Zhen Ji, and Dian Wei. Sun Jian, Tai Shi Se, and Zhou Yu. Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Jiang Wei. Anyway, uh, for the Yellow Turbans, you have Zhang Bao, Chong Yu Wanji, Zhou Song, Pei Yu Wan Shao, Bo Zhang, and Her Yi. Alright, let's do it. And the same concept. Just ton of KOs, just ton of points, and we gotta be fucking fast. I really want to aim for a higher KO count this time. That way I actually have my points over 4,000. Because uh, this stage is actually very difficult to aim for that 4,000 mark. I'll just go on foot for a bit. I was debating whether or not I should actually uh, manipulate the uh, fortress, but you know what? I'm just gonna go straight into it. Since I'm right here, if I was playing, well, if I was on the other side, more than likely I would have done it, but here, you know what? Since I'm right here, I might as well. And what I mean by that, as in, if you go all the way around, defeat that guard captain on the opposite side and open the door from the rear then you don't have to worry about these phantom units but I might as well just go through it what's going on huh? get away from me <gasps> and the same thing applies to the uh behind every spell there is the windmills with uh hey you want shout oh those are phantom units right I know there are a few that aren't so that's why I'm attacking well Joe song is down but I still need to take down these uh cauldrons
but yeah, same thing applies to paying you one shout if you're on the other side, but um... I'll probably defeat some troops before heading to pay you one shout. Then we'll go and uh... Go around, grab the Moose and Wine, defeat her Yi, and go from there. You know, I'm going to go in a little bit deeper to, uh, defeat some of these troops. Chung Yu Wonji is down. And I still need another 47 more KOs. But I'm not really worried about that because all my KOs should be around this area and then some. Shao now. And as I said before, if you go and defeat Pei Yuan Shao and enter from this way, you don't have to worry about the win. But I'll probably go and grab that Musu Wine anyway. are first. I know I don't have to worry about breaking these, but still. Like, the only time it actually would be more effective if you actually break those uh, windmills is if you actually uh, allow that cutscene to occur and you uh, have to uh, deal with more of a stronger win. So, since we didn't have to do that, I don't have to worry about it. But anyway, so, all I have left is Her Yi and Zhang Pao, and I really don't think I'm going to get my KO count at uh, 400. That's what I really want to get it to, but we'll see. I just need to make sure that. I really don't want Zheng Bao to appear. I mean, if I had a pick between the two, I'd rather have Zheng Bao there in 
not Zhang Liang because those boulders could be a real pain. But um, the only thing I have to worry about here is that back gate behind Zhang Bao uh, getting secured. Because once that gets secured, well, once I go through both uh, both sections here, then once I secure the back gate, then Zhang Bao will start to retreat. And what I mean by that is that you could actually stop him from retreating by defeating him. But, um... Like I said, if he retreats, that's fine. I'm not worried about it as much, but I personally prefer defeating him. Because the points do help. And I realize that I only have 150 more KOs to give up 155 anyway, but still. And that really doesn't sound like a lot. But it feels like it's a lot. I bow to your skill. I'm not trying to go for a certain KO count. Um, I'm done, done with targeting KOs and whatever. Um, the only time I ever try to target KOs is if I know for a fact I know. I know I said that numerous times now, that those two words. But anyway, um, this is a stage where it's very difficult to get 4,000 points in. Um, you don't have to get 4,000 points or more every stage. You just have to get it on average. So you can mess up one time and get like 8,000 points on another stage, then you'll be good. But um, for me, it'll be nice just to get 4,000 points every time. That way I really don't have to worry about it. And there's more uh, leverage and leeway. Just in case if I could just... I doubt I'm going to do it though, but like if I have to bolt straight for the commander. more like an insurance policy. But anyway. Jung Bao's right here. And I still... Okay, I'm gonna, that scared me almost. That's strange. What the fuck was that? Alright, I'm not gonna try to attack him because I want more KOs. And I'm going to try not to defeat that gate captain over there because he will try to retreat. Alright, let's be careful not to attack him. Because I know two or three hits will definitely end him.
Alright, now let's end him. Enemy officer defeated. It wasn't meant to be. And that's another win. Alright, so two down, four more to go, one more for this act. And uh, let's see how long that took. 12 minutes and 36 seconds, okay. Items, nothing. Our kill count is 406. I should be good when it comes to the points. If not, I just, I'm barely under. Yeah, that stage is very difficult to get 4,000 points. I don't know why, but maybe for the fact that there are only six officers, generals, whatever you want to call it. But um, I should be good when I play the Ultram Rebellion. So, and that's enough for rank one. And uh, I don't have to worry about having you one Shao's uh, rank at max just yet. Because uh, that requires 60,000 points. So, anyway, the weapon, experience, nothing. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, the KO of the bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. We'll save, and once again, let's continue. And now, the Yellow Turb Rebellion. And I'll stay as... Should I? Yeah, screw it. I'll play as a Yuan Shao again. So the equipment. You already know the weapon. The items I'll leave the same. The bodyguards are the same. The objectives. We have to defeat Zhang Xiao. Or have him retreat. But I personally prefer him being defeated. And we can't allow either myself or her gene to fall. Or the time running out. You know, info. For the Han forces, you have Her Jin and Yuan Shao, which is me, Zhao Xiao, Zhao Yuan, and Zhang Guliao, Xun Jian, Da Xiao, and Xia Xiao, Liu Bei, Wang Zhang, and Zhang Fei. For the Yellow Turbans, you have Zhang Jiao, Wang Xiao, Liu Pi, Zhou Song, and Han Xian, Zhang Munchang, and Guan Hai, Bo Zhang, and Dong Mao, Bei Yuan Xiao, Her Yi, and Yan Zhang. Chang Yuanji and Gao Shang. And if you were to skip the previous two stages or allow both commanders to retreat in those previous two stages, they will also appear here. And uh, I'll talk about the rest in a bit. So, anyway, uh, let's do it in the same concept. Shit ton of KOs, shit ton of points, and we gotta be fucking fast. Unleash your rage, my chosen children! Unleash your rage upon the Han and bring forth the age of the Yellow Turban! Cao Cao will penetrate enemy lines from the east, while Sun Jian attacks from the west. The volunteers will break through the middle and join the other two. Brothers, we must seek revenge! Listen, my brothers! We must have vengeance! Alright, so in that process of dialogue, we already defeated Yan Zhang and her Yi. But, um, basically, if you defeat those two, Zhang Liang and Zhang Bao, then Zhang Munchong and uh, Bo Zhang will both be inspired, and they're gonna be a little bit more difficult to defeat in comparison. Um, so. First thing I'm going to do is defeat Pei Yuan Shao since he has no officers left and his morale is basically at nothing. But yeah, they're going to be a little bit more difficult to defeat if you were to keep them alive and you don't have to worry about it as much.
较爽。And for this stage, I'm trying to aim for 500 KOs. I don't know if it's gonna happen. That's a hard, hard uh, task for me. I could get 400 easily, but 500 could be a bit of a challenge. And uh, I want to try to go for it just for the fact that I want more. Um, of insurance to uh, the points. Like I said, I'm not trying to aim for a certain target uh, throughout the entire Musa mode, but just for certain stages. And there goes Jean Wan Jean. So I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Every now and then they will defeat a very, very high defensive officer, even if they are non playable. So not only don't have to worry about Jean Wan Chong, but I don't have to worry about uh one high as well because one high automatically retreats. So that's a few points down the train a little bit, but um, that's pretty much the reason why I want to try to aim for 500 KOs. Do I think I'm going to hit 500? Probably not. 450? Maybe. 400 is definitely attainable. So, anyway, now we'll head over to Zhang Jiao and uh, defeat his officers. But we just gotta be a little bit careful here because in order for him to actually retreat, you have to defeat every officer and general on the stage. I don't think you don't have to do each one personally. You just gotta make sure that Zhang Jiao is the only one left and you have to secure the back gate. But the only difference is between the two, as in this stage and the other two stages, is Unlike the Yellow Term Mess and the Yellow Term Fortress, if you trigger the objective to have that commander retreat, they will start running for the back gate and try to retreat. Here, if you pull it off here, um, it will pretty much end at that point. Uh, there will be a little bit, a bit of dialogue between the guard and Zhang Jiao, but you won't be able to attack, thus pretty much ending the stage right there. So. Try not to do that, but we will defeat the officer. So Han Xiang, he's first. Then when we slowly approach Zhang Jiao, he will entice his magic by dropping down boulders. And uh, if you keep Zhang Bao or Zhang Liang alive, or keep him, or skip the stage or whatever. What will happen is for Zhang Bao on the left side, there are these little flame geyser things on the floor, on the ground, I should say, and uh, they will pretty much go off and explode and you'll fly up in the air. Uh, Zhang Liang, he will entice boulders. If you uh, defeat them both, then Zhang Jiao will entice the magic instead. And uh, it will be boulders, but once you, uh, unlike Zhang Liang's boulders, where if you break them, 
well, if you wanted to them, they'll break. Uh, these boulders will actually explode on impact, like that, and that's a kick in the nuts when they fucking spawn right in front of your fucking face. But, um, anyway, I actually got up there, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. But, uh, yeah, let's move on. I'll go on foot now. But, uh, anyway. So, as I was saying, that's what would happen if you defeat both Zhang brothers in their respective stages. However, if you allow at least one brother to stay alive, you don't have to worry about these boulders that I just had to deal with. So, if you really don't want to be that strategic and not have to worry about having an easier option, keep one of the Zhang brothers alive. I strongly recommend Zhang Bao. And, uh... You can always go around the one, uh, section where Zhang, uh... Whichever Zhang brother you do defeat, or what have you, in that one stage. Like, if I kept Zhang Bao alive, I could always go around to the section where Zhang Liang would be, and, uh defeat Zhang Bao from that direction, but, uh, anyway. So, I'll head over here, and then, uh, I'll defeat some of the troops. I really don't think I'm gonna hit 400 now. I think I spent too much time trying to defeat Gao Shang, Bo Zhang, and uh, Dung Mao, but I will defeat Liu Pi. That shouldn't have happened. defeat Zhang Bao. Well, first the dim sum, then I'll go and defeat Zhang Bao. Honestly, that wasn't it. But yeah, since I've actually defeated everybody, I just gotta make sure that that gate doesn't get secured. This one right here. So I will defeat Zhang Bao and try to avoid that gate captain. And that's a win. Awesome. So that's three down and three more to go. And, uh... Yeah, so we completed in 10 minutes and 26 seconds. I doubt we got anything good. Nothing. Okay, I'll count as 407. Our worthy opponent count is 12. We defeated, well, we didn't defeat everybody. What am I saying? We skipped uh, Zhang Munchong and Guan Hai. But uh, I think we should be good with the points. But I don't think I'm going to be over 4,000 by the end of the year. Uh, never mind, I will be. By a lot. 6,078 points. Not bad. And uh, we're still going to be at rank 1. Like I said, the max rank will be uh, 60,000 points. It'll be nice to actually show one off on camera without, you know, grinding for that character's stats because uh, I believe as you saw, um, oh wait, that wasn't Junga, my mistake. Um, 
Yeah, so we should be set. The weapon experience and the bodyguards. I don't have to worry about both of them. We'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, Ancient Dynasty Warriors 4. And I will see you in the next part where we'll take on the next act. And I'm strongly debating if I should just go straight for uh, the Battle Hulu Out Gate or not. But because I'll have six if I play the Battle Hulu Out Gate, the Battle of Guandu, and then the campaign against Yunjian. But I'll figure it out in the next part. So, peace out.